Get the f out! I'll call the f police! Get out! Huh? A homeowner screams at a man to get out after he breaks in naked, takes a swim, takes a shower, then puts on her husband's clothes, then allegedly kills two of the family pets. Now, this bizarre break in it all happened in Bel Air. KCO 9's Lori Perez is out there live, where, Lori, one of the homeowners actually came face to face with this man. That's terrifying. Oh, it absolutely is. What a horrifying moment for the entire family. This happened in broad daylight between 2 and 3 p.m. on Thursday on Cassiano Road. The man was home. Thankfully, his wife and his very young children were not. Get the f out. Now. What? Get out. I'll call the f police. Get out. A frantic Bel Air homeowner confronted a man she could see inside her house via the Ring security camera app. Her fear at a peak because as the intruder, who is naked for most of the time, made himself at home, taking a swim, walking around inside, her husband was also there, upstairs showering. I got a call from my wife saying, where are you? I said, huh? Why are you calling me? I'm here. I know there's somebody here. I'm like, I'm here. He's like, I know, I know there's somebody downstairs I'm seeing from the camera. And I just was in disbelief. Moments later, <laughs> watch here as Matt Sobs came face to face with the man. So my initial reaction was just scream and say, hey, what are you doing in my house? Hoping that he would just go away or say he got the wrong house. Uh, but he said it was his house. And he said he was going to call the police on me. Sobs jumped off the second floor balcony onto his car to escape and call police. Security camera video shows as officers caught 34 year old Paul Kyan still inside, still insisting he belonged there. My house. It's my house. I want to get my wife to you. You, you, you your picture? Yes. Sobs says police told him the man is homeless and got in using a garage door opener left in an unlocked car. Sobs says security video also shows the suspect killing the family's two birds. It could have been a lot worse if my kids were home. I mean, this man was crazy. He had a serial killer face when he killed those animals with a smile. It doesn't matter where you live, how safe your neighborhood is. A random attack, a, a, a random act could find its way toward your house. Neighbors are taking notice. It's not the first time an unhoused person has gotten into a home here, but they hope it will be the last. And what I did last night after I heard about this is I took my second car, which has a garage door opener, in the car, and I brought it back inside. That is a little shocking that uh, that's a pretty bold move on his part. I mean, he's, he's lucky that uh, he's lucky he didn't break in our house. Now, Saab says his children, who are both under five years old, were the ones who found their pet birds dead. Cayenne's bail has been set at $50,000. We're live in Bel Air tonight. I'm Lori Perez. Back to you.